interaction right here. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode, guys. In today's episode, um, actually, it's about the pool pond. Let me actually walk over here, you guys. Today, we're getting part two of the pool pond completely finished. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be real, real, real nice. As you can see, the pool pond is just looking plain. So, we got the water and everything just flowing in here. So, we actually set the pump up a little bit more like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's looking nice, as you can see. We got a turtle in there, but guys, it's time to lay all the sand out in here. Um, it's time to add the decorations. It's time to add the red tail catfish and all of the other turtles and stuff that we do have. So before we get into this turtle build, not turtle build, uh, pool pond build, you guys, for part two, I'm gonna need y'all to like, subscribe, comment down below, guys, share this video, and uh, without further ado, let's get in with it. Let's go. All right, you guys, and we're down. Let me close it real quick. I do try to spray down my water monitor just a little bit as a problem with these rain up underneath there. But I try to spray it down like me dead sometimes. I don't do it every day. Just sometimes when it's really, really, really hot. And uh, yeah, it'll help the plants grow. Help everything in here grow. And he loves it. And then I'll add a little bit of water into this thing because it, it does evaporate really, really quick. Same thing for this other enclosure right here. This is a green water enclosure. Got to spray it down. Mix it really, really good. Really can get it from the top, honestly. And it'll just slip down like it's raining. All right, you guys. Now y'all are set up in uh, this pool pond that I'm sitting on right now. I'm gonna grab the sand and stuff. I'm gonna start shoveling it, putting the sand all in here. And uh, yeah. And then we're gonna like put the sand in there after we shoveled it all up. Um, that's probably why I'm gonna try to do it. So let's roll the time lapse and let's go get the sand. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we got the pool pond. He's like, I'd say 25% finished, cause guys, we just put the sand in there, and y'all, it is looking sick, look at that. Um, it's a little bit murky, and I do have a little bit more sand left. I'll probably end up adding it to the snap enclosure. But look at that thing, guys. It is looking amazing, guys. I can't wait until we get some monster fish for here. As y'all can see, let me, let me see if we can run up with a little guppy, you can see. But look at these guys, they are swimming around. Having a blast, guys. I low key want to get like a ton of minnows. I'll probably go make a video about it. But, guys, I want to get like hundreds of these guys and just fill them in the pool pond and just have a bunch of them in here living with the monster fish because they will have babies to reproduce and then I can feed them to things like my baby stem turtle, which is over there. So, yeah, you guys, I mean, now we got to go ahead and back into the mini reptile zoo or once was the mini reptile zoo. I'm, I'm going to fill up this little bucket, this little tote uh, with as much rocks. Uh, what we used to have driftwood and stuff like that in there some caves we're gonna get all of that stuff and i'm about to actually get inside the pool pond so we can decorate all this stuff and make it look really really nice
this issue right here, this little tote. You know, I got a heated pad for rock for my boy Apollo. Yeah, bro, this all the way back into my backyard, so let's get it. you guys so now we got all the directed blah, blah, blah. we got all the decorations and stuff right here we got some driftwood we got the caves we got some slates and stuff that i could just kind of lay out in the pond um yeah i mean some of the stuff won't be going in here like this right here will be going in my green iguanas enclosure and then this stuff right here will be going in my boy apollo's enclosure just so at night he can stay really really warm and uh yeah without further ado let's get all this stuff in the pond y'all so right here this is going to be going into my green iguana enclosure so we're going to open up their enclosure like this and we're going to put it in here loki just want to put it all the way back here let me show y'all the little spot all right there we go i'm gonna put it like right back there as you can see so now they have another hiding spot they can go hide in all right here we go Let's close it there we go Alright you guys, so we just added the heating pad for my boy Paolo and uh, you know it's too short so I'm gonna go back in this enclosure gotta move some things around just to make the wire just a little bit longer and uh, yeah, let me close the door behind me so my boy don't run out as you can see he's in his water right there this guy has been loving his new enclosure but I think it's just this board right here pull that down All right, there we go. All right, here you go, guys. Now, I think uh, it's finally long enough to pull. Okay, yeah, we should be good. And we're gonna put it right here in this second one. And uh, yeah, the only two things that I have plugged up in this thing is literally just two heating pads. One for the guanas and one for right here. All right, you guys. Oh, it is right out here. Yeah, you guys, so. We just uh, added the little heating pad and stuff in here for my boy Paolo. Because guys, at night, well, in the morning, not even at night, really like 4 to 5 a.m., it gets down to like 72. So I'd be having to come out here with a hoodie on. So I know my boy is going to be a little bit chilly. So I just wanted to add him a heating pad in here just so when I do feed him later on in the day, um, he can digest it early, early in the morning and, uh, you know, he won't have any problems. So. Yeah, that's what we added one in there and in the Guardians enclosure as well and all righty guys look at that pool pond right there y'all it is looking sick so uh let me basically flip y'all around show y'all around so right here as you can see we got the water flowing down but that's so basic but uh yeah we got the water we got two slates right there those are actually on top of the little geek that we had here um it does have flex seal at the bottom in the top um, you know, just to be more specific, it has Gorilla Tape at the bottom, Flex Seal at the top, and then it's sandwiched by those two uh, cinder blocks or whatever slate you want to call it. Then we have a pump right there. Um, it's sucking into the UV filter, pushing out all the way down here. And then we have another uh, 800 gallon pump pushing water over here. So we're just going circle all the way around, just like that. And then over here, once you get right here, guys, this is, is like basically a littler cave. Um, my red silk can hide in there. Little fish, um, it's basically about that tall, so little fish can basically get up underneath their hide. 
And uh, as y'all can see, the water is flowing down here. And then right over there, we have the bigger cave. You can go in there. I'm gonna have a little basking spot for the turtles. Cause I know y'all have a bunch of turtles that's gonna be in here as well. So they can get up there, bask, do their thing, jump back in the water. And uh, we have some floating plants, like these little flowers all around as well. And uh, I mean, that's basically it for the 800 gallon outdoor pool pond. All right, you guys, and today we are reading Proverbs chapter 16, verse nine. People make plans for what they will do, but it is the Lord who leads them in the right way. So you guys, you know, I could plan to do all this stuff, you know, and uh, the Lord, uh, the one that lives up there in the sky, yo, he knows my whole plans for my life. And uh, these are just my plans. And uh, y'all, he has the ultimate plan for me. I don't even know what he has planned for me in my life. So yeah, you guys, trust in God. And I uh, hope y'all absolutely enjoy today's episode. Don't really like, subscribe, comment down below, guys. We're almost monetized here on YouTube. I am literally achieving my dreams, guys. So watch it, y'all. You know, I'm just a 17-year-old, well, about to be 17-year-old kid. And uh, just chasing my dreams. And uh, yeah, you guys, I hope y'all enjoy. I'll catch y'all in the next wild, crazy episode. Peace.